Aloha! Welcome to part 5 of Knuckles Chaotix, folks. And we just defeated the first Eggman boss fight. If you look on the board, it now says that Amazing Arena is cleared, so we're never going to play Amazing Arena ever again. As you'll see later, we're going to try and pick the levels again, and the Amazing Arena area will be destroyed and we'll never be able to pick it. So thank God! <laughs> Surprisingly, we have yet to strike the Marina Madness level. We haven't even played the first level of that, but uh, I'm sure we're going to play it more often, more soon than you think, you know. So again, you look at the level select, and boom, bye-bye Amazing Arena. Thank God. <laughs> well, this time we're going to pay a visit to Botanic Base. Botanic base is your typical green, fieldy, kind of Sonic level. Although, this level has a lot of, you know, labyrinthy elevators and detours and walking backwards and not always going right all the time. And, uh, you know, it's a unique level, I must say. I don't really talk about... I haven't really talked about any of the levels so far. I mean, I've always bitched about Amazing Arena and Techno Tower, but, uh... Here's the uh, trick to make both of your characters go super fast. And it doesn't always work, so I went all the way to the left just to get a big boost of speed. That's one very tight loop-de-loop, -loop, and having a tethered partner doesn't exactly help. <laughs> there we go. Gotta get the biggest running speed to make some of these jumps. It's crazy. And yeah, I guess that one little area Mighty wouldn't be able to get out unless he wall jumped, but you know. When I played the game as Mighty without the wall jump, I didn't have a situation that required me to wall jump. I thought the level design was actually pretty good for the most part. So yeah, every character needs to wall climb for certain areas, and that's why Mighty can wall climb, blah, 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 blah. I know, I know, I know. They really gotta make elevators and stuff a lot quicker, though. That's the one issue of Knuckles Chaotix that I do have. It's like Amazing Arena had a whole bunch of teleportation platforms, but like, the minute you step in them, it takes forever to get going. It takes like three, four seconds for it to start moving. Well, maybe two or three, but you know, it, it's still way too long. You play a game like Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and you go to Chemical Plant Zone, and anytime you go into one of those pipe things that zoom you all over the place, you're going everywhere you want to go. I didn't want to go in the special stage, it was totally by accident. Here I'm actually just looking for the exit, because I don't want to waste my rings and stuff. Again, this special stage is pointless, you get points. <laughs> That's my favorite sentence I've ever said. Um, okay, it's not pointless, because there's points in the special stage, but, uh, you know. There's nothing there you want to get. It's like, if you die, you just go to the hub world again, and there's really no infinite... Like, there's no game over for this game, as far as I know. It has a save feature, just like Sonic 3 and Knuckles, so you can turn off your 32x, and it'll keep... It'll, like, play from where you left off last, you know. But yeah, it's Botanic Base. But, um, yeah, if you die, you just go back to the hub world, and you just choose a level again. There's no real... Uh, consequence for dying, except for the fact that you get kicked out of the level. I mean, these levels don't have checkpoints and stuff, because if you die once, then you're out of the level. You have to go back to the hub world. The thing is, though, when you have a partner, it's not really hard... It's not really easy to die, because, like, even if you have zero rings, and you get hit, one of your partner goes away for, like, a little bit. He goes away for, like, maybe... 30 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds, and then he comes back right back, even if you haven't picked up a ring. So, you know, as long as you have a partner, you're generally pretty good, and, uh, it's not too difficult, I don't find, you know? There's never a situation where I'm getting- there's no bottomless pits in this game, just like Sonic CD. Well, Sonic CD did have the one bottomless pit area at the very final level, but, uh, that was, like, the only exception, really. There's no bottomless pits in Knuckles Chaotix that I can remember. Uh, there's no real instant death traps, there's no crushing machines in this- in this game at all. So it, you know, the only time you're gonna die is either you just keep getting hit by this one enemy so much that you don't, you not only lose all your rings, but you lose your partner and then you get hit again. So it's like, Knuckles Chaotix is kind of easy like that. I never really die too much when I'm playing this game, you know? <laughs> I love that. Sometimes you can make Espio do the cool upside down spin thing when he's rolling down hills. I love that. 
I've had it happen to me on many a an occasion, and it's always puts a smile to my face when I do it. Speed Slider is one of my favorite levels in the game, if only because of the music. Uh, I mentioned earlier the intro level, Door into Summer, is like one of the best themes in the game. But uh, actually, my personal favorite song in all of Knuckles Chaotix is the Speed Slider music. I could listen to this music all day, every day, and it always brings a nice smile to my face, you know? It's so high energy, it's so epic. It just makes me feel adventurous and feel awesome when I'm playing it, you know? <laughs> I fucking love it. It's the best theme in this whole game, and I wish it was in... I wish it was recognized in a better game, you know? Actually, thinking back to that, I remember looking at the soundtrack videos of this game, and a lot of comments mentioned that some of the Knuckles Chaotix tunes were actually redone in the Sega game Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg for the GameCube. So Sonic Team apparently liked the Knuckles Chaotix music too, and they decided to remake it and remix it for Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. You could call that lazy because, you know, like, they come up with this new character in this new game, but they're like, hey, we need to make music for Billy Hatcher. What? Do you think we should just invent new music? Well, yeah, we'll invent new music, but you know what? Let's make some Knuckles Chaotix remixes too. No one will know because no one fucking played Knuckles Chaotix. <laughs> No, but it's true. Apparently, some of the songs in Knuckles Chaotix were remixed for Billy Hatcher. At least that's what I read from the comments. I could be wrong, but, you know. That's a nice little interesting factoid, if I do say so myself. And now we're finally playing Marina Madness Part 1. Finally. Uh, Marina Madness, besides having a, also a pretty good song. I love the music in Knuckles Chaotix, I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoy it. But uh, Marina Madness has this little gimmick where, like, there's a giant... I think it's a submarine or a boat or something that's dipping up and down. It could be a flying Titanic, for all I know. <laughs> but uh, there's a boat in the background, and you can stand on top of it and push the button on some of them to make it rise or lower in the level, and that can take you to different places in the level. Uh, I don't find Marina Madness too confusing an area. I don't find it too complicated. It's just right, in my opinion, you know? It's not... It's not the place for high-speed action, like Techno Tower or Speed Slider. It's it's more of a platforming level in this one. But uh, I still enjoy it more than Botanic Base. And, uh, you know, I enjoy the Marina Madness levels quite a bit. You just gotta know that sometimes when you get lost and you get stuck in an area, generally you wanna try and jump on the Marina boat things and then hit the button. And it'll probably take you higher or lower in the area to wherever you wanna go. Level 1 was pretty simple, pretty easy, so there wasn't much to worry about. Plus, I was Charmy, so I flew through everything like it was nobody's business. <laughs> when you can fly, you can reach platforms oh so easily. It's kind of retarded. And yeah, I'm breezing through a lot of these levels, aren't I? But uh, I'm trying to breeze through just because there's so many levels, you know. The game gets repetitive after a while if you're just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And that is Knuckles Chaotix's one big problem, is that it's so repetitive. And because it's so easy, like there's no bottomless pits or anything, that, you know, it can get kind of boring. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I played Knuckles Chaotix two years ago, I did, I like, I had to beat it in parts. Like, I couldn't do it in one sitting, because I was just, I got bored of it after a while. Again, I like this game, I think it's pretty unique, and I do enjoy its existence. I enjoyed the time I played with it, but it's still like... You know what it reminds me of? And I know people are gonna hate me for this. It reminds me of Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors, you know, it's been getting huge hype lately, and I enjoyed the game, but I just don't see what was so revolutionary about the game. And it's like, yeah, I played it a lot when it came out, but now it's like I haven't really touched it in a while. Mainly because of other games I've been playing, but it's like... You know, the story-wise, yeah, the, the, the dialogue was great, but... No, you can't tell me there was, the story was great, or it had an awesome cutscenes or anything. Most of the cutscenes involved Sonic at one of the generators talking to a robot that wasn't talking back to him. I'm not gonna get into Colors rant, I'm just saying that, like, I enjoyed Colors, I loved Colors, but, you know... Was it the best Sonic game ever? No, it, it just sort of leaves... It's a fun diversion, but I don't think it, it leaves an impact in your head. And that's just me, I don't know. I'm gonna get so much hate for these Sonic Colors comments. 
I like the game! I don't know what people are gonna whine about, but yeah. I love uh, Speed Sliders music. Love this music. Loves it. I also love Speed Slider, the level itself, just because of all the high speed uh, loop de looping and. You know, it's just a very fun level. I enjoy this place quite a bit. I could have used the A button to make Bomb come to me. Instead, I went to the higher path and went with him for some reason because, you know, it's always against my nature to push the A button because it takes away 10 rings. And if I want to get the special stages, or at least have more rings for the special stages, I generally don't want to push the A button. And never in the game do I push the A button, because I just don't think it's a useful button to push. But, for instances like that where I wanted to go down the, the lower path, but Bomb can't go down because he went too high, you have to push the A button and then Bomb will come to you, basically. He'll come jump at the front of the screen, and then he'll end up right beside you, and that's how the A button works. How you call your a partner to you. But, uh, I digress. We're going to the second level of Marina Madness. <laughs> yep, that's my commentary. <laughs> that's what I have to say. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to that second level. Yeah, not gonna lie, folks, Knuckles Chaotix is not the most amazing Sonic game. I keep saying this now, but, you know, when you're running out of things to say because the game goes on way too long, and there isn't enough uh, diversity to talk about, then it kind of sucks, you know? It's like you wish they made, like, eight different levels that had three acts, you know? Not five levels with five acts, because then it just gets kind of boring when you're like, Oh good! Amazing Arena, again! Oh good! <laughs> you know? Like, none of the other Sonic games do this. Oh wait, Sonic Colors does- <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, I don't mean to bash Sonic Colors. I like the game, I swear. I just don't get the hype. I don't get it. But, you know, whatever. Uh... There's the thing with the giant ring. It's like, the rings fall past the yacht platforms. And because I had the blue ring power up, my giant ring fell down there and I lost all of my rings. So the giant ring power up is good and bad because you can keep track of all of your rings, but you can lose them if you don't grab the giant ring, you know? I guess it should be mentioned that the Chaotix in the 3D games are turned into a detective agency that apparently Charmy, Esper, or es Espio, and uh, Vector are a detective agency and they like solve crimes and stuff. Though they've only solved two in the games as far as I know, and I don't even know who hired them to solve the second crime in Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, it wasn't even a crime, they just wanted to like get information on Professor Gerald Robotic for no reason, but uh... Yeah, they're detectives. I don't know if I mentioned this before. I don't know if you're familiar with the 3D games at all, and you're just watching my LPs because you like my Mega Man LPs or whatever. But, uh... I cut out the special stage parts, so that's why you're gonna see me just skip right to the, uh, level select. But yeah, I accidentally jumped into the special stage as... I didn't want to, and I don't want to play the wireframe special stage bullshit. But yeah, the Chaotix are a detective agency, and, um... If you didn't know that, well, now you do. It's a shame Knuckles didn't interact with the Chaotix and Sonic Heroes. That is a scene they missed out on. That could have been cool. But I digress. See you in part six, where maybe Knuckles gets a brain. Shut up!